Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a drastically sappy couple in love that loves reacting to some Dragon Ball Z Kai. Yeah, we do. And so we're checking out uh, DBZ Kai episode number 133. If you want early free access to our reactions, we got a link to our Patreon in the description of this video. Uh, we're like five episodes, five or six episodes ahead in our um, YouTube edits and like 10 episodes or more ahead in our uh, full watch along reactions. If you want all of our DBZ Kai reactions here on YouTube, we also have a playlist for that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. That's supposed to be the titles, but. Sorry. Previously on Dragon Ball Z Kai. Go I honestly didn't see the whole title. I just saw Super Saiyan. I was like, ah, it's the song. <laughs> For defeating Majin Buu. Back on Earth, Buu continued to spread terror across the globe. Yeah. <laughs> terror by. He hoped the rampage would force Piccolo and the boys to surrender. Mm-hmm. The master fusion. Do you understand? Higher, but I don't know. I feel like Goku might actually love Boo because Boo turns everything into food, and Goku's always hungry. Yeah, it's true. Low on time, so like I said earlier, turn Super Saiyan. People of Earth. So much pressure on the poor kids. Yeah, now. Oh yeah, Trunks. They are so motivated now to kick the crap out of them. Yeah. They're Trunks. If you're not, West City will be the next one. Boo chews up literally. Oh, such a dick. oh no. Poor Trunks, like it's not bad enough. He just lost his dad. You gotta do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These kids need to grow up fast in this world, man. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Okay, but see, like, if I accept the reality that Vegeta is really gone, mm -hmm. what about the part in the trailers where, like, he's got the funky little earring thing and he and Goku are merging? No, yeah, good. Like, that's the hope that I was clinging to. That's why I was like, it, it can't be. Like, it's it's all BS, the fact that we can't bring him back. Because there's footage here that I have not seen. No. But it's got to be in a way that we don't know yet. Because, as people were saying in the comments, like, the Dragon Balls can't bring him back. Because he's already yeah. been brought back by the Dragon Balls. Um, so, feel bad for, you know, blaming Yamcha on that for not wishing him back. <laughs> Except for all the, you know, bad people. I was like, oh, okay. damn it. Everybody yeah. blames Yamcha. Yeah, exactly. Yamcha great. We're, we're just falling right in line with that. <laughs> Yamcha can't catch a break, even from the audience. Yeah, exactly. I don't think that's actual title music, but you know. I don't think that was title music either. <laughs> Person would rat on me like that. My grandparents are still at home, and those big bullies are headed right for us. I love Chunks' colic in the back. Hmm. I'm burn it to the ground. Then we'll use the second wish to bring back all of the cities too. There won't be a second wish. What? After only four months of sleep, Shenron can only grant one more wish. Oh, don't know how I could forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Goku. That's true. We'll say Shenron make everything the way it was. <laughs> What <laughs> like the cheerleading spot. <laughs> yeah, you think so? I wouldn't call it extremely possible, but there is a hmm. to find the Dragon Balls first. And I left my dragon radar back home at the lab. Uh, Which means it can be destroyed. Mm-hmm. Definitely a problem. You can teleport, dude. Trunks, you should go. Fly back to your house as fast as you can and get that radar. Why? Why don't you just teleport? He doesn't destroy West City before you've got it. You sure that's a good idea? No. Yeah, don't you worry. I can hold my own for a while. There's no time to waste. Okay, we're gonna see Goku in action. Yeah, but like. Listen to me, Trunks. Be careful down there. Come back if it's too dangerous. I don't want you getting hurt. Okay. I feel like they're like. All pretty cool about sending this little kid like, yeah, down there on a like, suicide mission. He and Goten need to stay together and like, like they're both keys to the. Mm -hmm. Guess we'll find out. It's beating Boo. Yeah, so like, let's not separate them. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, time to fly. Yeah, true. Why wouldn't Trunks need some backup? Like, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, that might be a protective moment from Goku, actually. Protecting his, his son. Vegeta's son. There's nothing in this world that can slow him down. Yay. Good job, Goku. I love positive upbeat Goku. <laughs> You're a good boy. He's not a dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's like pat him on the back. Good like, oh boy. You big elf, no detours, just fly to West City. <laughs> nice. Now what? Haven't you heard of Whiplash? <laughs> 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 
up. And I owe you a debt of gratitude. You played a crucial part in Majin Buu's triumphant return. Oh, just bottom kisses. That. We didn't think it was possible for Majin Buu to be this mighty. We were arrogant and we're paying. Yeah. My father created him with his own magic. Why don't you tell me what you're doing here? Distracting you? No, I just came here to warn you so you'll know what you're dealing with. You're warning me? As if there's something I should be scared? Mm-hmm. Oh, that is hilarious! <laughs> I'll let the whole world in on this one. This is too good. <laughs> Beat you both. Huh? <laughs> you all laugh now. Mm-hmm. I guess we'll see. <laughs> now who's being arrogant? Mm hmm. Prize. I didn't think you'd want to wait. That's why I came here with a backup plan. I'm going to take on Majin Buu myself. <laughs> now, show him the power my father gave you. That's an order, servant. Boo, hear you the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Little sass, Boo gave. Like that. Don't you realize his powers are nothing compared to yours? Hmm. Nah. <laughs> Good job, Goku. You say that I'm the future ruler of the universe. Majin Buu's my servant, a sword. Of Ooh. <laughs> and because that's what he's made for. Uh oh. Buu no like you mean no threats at all. You see a Buu, you die. <laughs> <laughs> Here goes. Yeah! Oh my God! Come on, Goku. Super Saiyan. Damn, Piccolo. Okay. That has about the same power as my dad did. He's amazing. Hell yeah, he is. Did you think that would impress us? Vegeta tried the golden hair trick and it couldn't save him. The golden hair trick. Yeah. Super Saiyan when he fought Boo, but I'm gonna show you a level beyond that. No way. God or something, I'm getting lost and don't know <laughs> if I should be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Just when I started Hey Bob, he fucking <laughs> makes me laugh so much. Make you laugh and you can still hate him. Because he's basically like the audience, like, do you have like a chart or something about this? Super yeah. Saiyan I, I mean, in the game, I remember like the fighting games, there's a point where he had like turquoise hair or something. I'm like, are we gonna see the turquoise hair now? Uh, uh I, I don't know. I, I don't know when that comes into play. Means another hair color. <laughs> well, Super Saiyan 2, it was, there was still like golden hair, but like, I don't know. Hmm. They got like extra golden hair. <laughs> That's the duty of a hero. We're counting on you, Mr. Satan. Marry me. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrate my triumph! <laughs> I love his name, Satan. I totally nailed it. I'm so good at scaring. But what if Boo hears about my challenge? Exactly mm. what you were actually gonna do. Yeah. Got a warrior code or something, <laughs> right? Love me! Love me! That's the most honest he's been in this mm -hmm. whole series. <laughs> So you can surpass Vegeta, who already surpassed Super Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but Vegeta gave all he had and accomplished nothing. Yeah. Well, wasn't nothing. See, he didn't accomplish nothing. It just wasn't long lasting. Mm -hmm. It was an unfortunate short term state of being. Trunks' energy is. Is he just standing? Trunks, go. Got to them in a blink of an eye. How is that his instant transmission technique? How's it work? Trunks Stop focus. worrying about that. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Goku. Yeah. What's this radar for? Forget about it. It's not. Hmm. Is it possible he's that strong? Can he really be as powerful as Dad? Focus. Yeah. Good job. Ski. Maybe so. There's no choice. I've got to hold their attention. Doing a good job. I love Goku's game face, that like yeah. smirk that he has. Huh? Why you stop power? You giving up? <laughs> Saiyan? Super how? No one asked for a lesson. <laughs> it looks like when I push myself beyond Saiyan for even greater power. See? To make it easy, let's call this super. <laughs> Bluffing him, right, buddy? You must be. I mean, how much stronger can a guy get? Come on, Goku. <laughs> Beyond Super Saiyan 2! 
Oh. Should be scared. Is he like sucking in the clouds? Oh. He's causing a lot of destruction. Goku. No way. That's crazy. His power, it's even stronger than it was before. It's like he's a center of gravity or something. Yeah. He's getting the long locks. Energy keeps growing. It's like there's no end to it. <laughs> Dad's the man. Okay, not. Damn right. It's an earthquake. Somebody help. <gasps> Jatsu, Dan. What could he be tapping into? <sighs> oh, he looks crazed. Maybe he's tapping into pure, unadulterated rage. Yeah. Pure unadulterated badass. Whoa. Maybe Coco is a monkey. And that was Super Saiyan 3. <laughs> this Goku was ready for an herbal excellence commercial. Yeah, I know. That look is just like, behold, I am a god. <laughs> yep. I'm not used to making this transformation yet. <laughs> <gasps> Fuck yeah. Wow, he doesn't even look like himself. Mm -hmm. He doesn't look scared though. Unfortunately not. It's a cool shot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Think of his little shell. Let's do this. I could use a good battle test. Yes. <laughs> yeah! Goku, show him who's boss. Get him, Dad. Pickle's word. Yeah. Reached even higher to a level this world has never seen. <laughs> oh. Believe. With this transformation. Those pictures look cool. Mm -hmm. It's time to find out next Dragon Ball Z Kai. <sighs> like I could almost see them being some really high end fan art. Right? They yeah, yeah. There. I'm like, I'm like, I kind of want to check that out. I'm like, uh, I don't know, get it on a t-shirt or something like that. It looks, I mean, like, I dig the colors of it all. And like, it's, yeah, it looks badass. Uh, that was fantastic. Um, you know, we know Goku from, uh, so we check out Dragon Ball Z abridged. Uh, that's how we got into Dragon Ball Z Kai. And um, Goku in that is, uh, is fun and lovable and like a doofus and everything like that and and whatnot. And like, it's not that he didn't have badass moments, but like, ah, it was just, this was the, really the, the first time when I was like, just incredibly impressed with, with Goku. And uh, yeah, was like, I don't know, turned into like a Goku fanboy, like in, in an instant there. <laughs> Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, we have seen him enjoy fighting in yeah. Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Um, and, and so, and we know he's good at it. Like, yeah. I mean, you know, he's the hero character. Everybody talks about how amazing he is. It was always that thing that either maybe came too easily to him mm -hmm. or he kind of stumbled on victory by accident or, you know, like various things like that in the Abridged series that this was the first moment where I was like, holy hack, like he is a superhero. I mean, mm -hmm. this was his superhero moment. Um, and it was it was flawless. But now it's like I, I finally see Goku through the eyes of, I think, every other character in the show, except maybe Vegeta. Um, <laughs> but Vegeta still has a ton of respect for him. Respect, yes. Yeah. Not so much in awe, but like yeah. all the other characters are kind of in awe of Goku yeah. and his his fighting history and his, his victories and, and mm -hmm. everything else. I saw him that way for the first time in this. Yeah, in previous episodes, we talked about how like, he was kind of like harsh, like uh, with um, when the kids were crying, or whatever, and he was like, like stop crying, or whatever, like, you got serious. But like in that moment when he when he was like, hey, 
stop fucking around and, and go get the go get the radar. I'm yeah. like, like, yeah, no, no, that's that that is definitely the correct tone to, to, to take at that at that time. Yeah. And I loved his, uh, you know, the mind games that he was playing with Bobbity yeah. and Boo. I thought that was really great because um, you know, again, we've heard like in the comments and stuff that uh, Goku was re is really like you know, uh, a savant when it comes to like uh, battle tactics and strategy and everything. And so, and again, with, like, since we watched a bridge, we didn't really totally get to see that. Um, but here, like I saw him like, oh, nice. Okay, like he's like, this is how he's gonna stall from time. And like the way he tried to put Boo against Bobby, he's like, what, you, you can take that from him? Like, you know, him yep. busting you around like that? Um, I was kind of waiting for somebody to, to bring that up. So I'm glad that was Goku. I'm so thrilled with this episode, I think, because we finally got to see Goku in a whole new light. Mm -hmm. And the mind tricks were something that because in the abridged version, he is kind of such a lovable doofus. <laughs> I would never necessarily think him capable of that strategic thinking and that level of intelligence and even like understanding of psychology of the people that mm -hmm. he's interacting with because it's never displayed in the abridged version. But it was perfectly on display here in such a clear way that I, I have developed a whole new respect for Goku as a result. I loved his interaction with Trunks. I also like love the fact that Trunks had a moment of ADD as he's going to <laughs> get the radar and like the impending doom Very to kid, his yeah. home. But like he sees essentially like a shiny new toy and he's like, oh wait, what's that? Yeah. Um, so I, I loved that moment because so much is being put on Trunks and Goten right now that I think it could be easy to forget how truly young they are. And that was a great moment of showing that to us and reminding us of like, they are just kids. Put a shiny object in front of them and they are going to forget their mission. Like this is this is who we are, who we are trusting our entire future with. <laughs> and I'm not saying that that's wrong because they very well might be capable yeah. of that power. And that's that's but like when you're an adult and you're thinking, oh my God, I'm I'm putting all my faith and trust in the future of mm -hmm. Earth and humanity in the hands of a eight-year-old. I think I mean like. That's, this is a big gamble. Mm -hmm. They have built this up very well. Um, you know, because we already see how impressive Boo is. So to see how well, uh, you know, Super Saiyan 3 can match up against Boo, I think is going to show us one. I think if, you know, Boo can dominate him, like how more, much more powerful Boo is, but also uh, just like the difference between Super Saiyan 3 and 2, since like, Vegeta did, was doing a great job against Boo, but then like eventually kind of got owned by him um, before he, you know, had to sacrifice himself, make the ultimate sacrifice. As you're talking, there are two moments that are very vivid in my mind mm. that are giving me like hope and fear going into the next episode. Uh, Starting with Mr. Piccolo, the fact that he looked so serious and so focused and concentrating on mm. Goku in that final moment where we were zoomed in on his face, which is the moment where everybody else is like, yeah, go yeah. like, yeah, my dad's the best. Like, yeah, he's yeah. got it. Not bluffing. <laughs> Krillin. Yeah. Um, that scares me because I'm like, oh, I feel like Piccolo knows something, mm -hmm. senses something, sees something that we're all celebrating before the victory has actually been earned. And yeah. that's going to maybe mean it's not going to come out the way we want it to. Flip side of that, though, is the fact that when Boo did launch his, like, pink magic stuff at Goku, Goku just like, Psh! Like, just it was nothing. He just yeah. backhanded it away. It didn't touch him at all, basically. Um, so that gives me hope going into the next episode, at least. And then Bobbity, uh, his sarcasm in this is just, I'm glad I, I'm glad they went back to that. I'm glad they just didn't go back to him being like, you know, the stereo, I don't know, a stereotypical, like, gleeful villain that's like, loves, like, to kill people and cause mayhem and everything. Like, I mean, that... Bobbity, I'm not a fan of, and like I'm saying, eh, whatever. You're kind of annoying. Um, but when he does like the sarcasm, I'm just like, can I get a chart for this Super Saiyan <laughs> thing? <laughs> yeah, that I, I, that, that's the kind of that, that's the kind of stuff that I really like. That is just so unexpected. It's yeah. uh, that uh, when he says it, when he starts dropping those lines, um, that like I almost wonder if like you know those lines were like improvised or something like that. But uh, yeah, so I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm curious to see ultimately where that relationship will go between Bobbity and Boo as yeah. well. Because Bobbity is enjoyable to us for his sarcasm, mm -hmm. but otherwise is very weaselly and obnoxious, but mm -hmm. doesn't come across as particularly impressive in yeah. any regard. Whereas Boo is very impressive in his destructive abilities, 
but also very simple minded and kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, I was going to say like the analogy of like the toddler with the gun, but it's more like a toddler with two tons of dynamite. Um, and that's, that's something that I'm going to be curious to see how it plays out, especially after the seed that Goku has planted, because I do think that's going to come back up. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want uh, early ad-free access to our Dragon Ball Z Kai reactions, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for you. Uh, we're several episodes ahead in our YouTube reactions and even further ahead in our full watch along reactions. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Dragon Ball Z Kai episode 133, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.